What's up gearheads, it's Trev. I'm back working on Project Renegade and today we're putting on new wheels and tires. Hell yeah! Got the new wheels stacked up at the apartment. Man, it's amazing what you can fit in the back of a Jeep with taking the rear seat out and a little bit of ingenuity. <laughs> 140 bucks. Check these out. Ready for your history lesson today, kids? So from 90 to 93, you could get the Renegade package on your Wrangler YJ if you wanted. There's a few interesting things about the Renegade. Other than the body kit, which is what made it really pop, but also what made it not so popular, the Renegade was actually the second best package you could get on a Wrangler. The only other option that was a step above the Renegade was the Sahara. The Renegade came with the body kit, off-road shocks, 30 inch by 9.5 inch tires, and they were mounted to 15 by 8 inch wide rims, aluminum alloys. That's what most Jeep guys upgrade to. Now when Shell got her Renegade, aside from the spare, it was missing all the correct wheels and the spare wasn't exactly in the best of shape. Nope, her Jeep had the old steel five spokes. Someone had sold off her wheels at some point. Now the wheels that we picked up aren't in the best of shape, but they're a heck of a lot better than the one that she already had and we got five of them with 31 inch by 10 and a half inch tires that still have a decent amount of tread on them and we picked up all five for 140 bucks. Now there's a couple of scrapes. There's a little bit of corrosion. But overall they're pretty shiny. The only thing that really bugs me is these bullet things here are completely worn off this wheel. Couple missing on this one. Couple on that one. This one. <laughs> I think this is the only wheel that has them all, actually. This one's probably in the best shape. We got them wrapped in some Cooper Discoverer all-terrains. The spare tire is actually a BF Goodrich all-terrain. It's too bad they didn't all come wrapped in that. That's one good tire. But these aren't too bad. So enough chit-chat, we're here to do some work. I'm gonna touch up the paint and put another coat on this uh, diamond plate down here, which was another Renegade feature. I'm going to get Shell's new big tires on there so she can feel a little better around the other Jeeps. I guess she's got some people picking on her at work. And then hopefully the extra little bit of height from those slightly bigger tires will give me enough space I can crawl under there without jacking the thing up and put the new exhaust on. Well, I don't know how far the time lapse with the GoPro went because, as GoPros are notorious for, the battery died. Well, after reviewing that footage, apparently not very far at all. And, not to mention, the guy who welded up the back of Shell's frame there doesn't know what a torque stick is, apparently, because, holy crap, did I ever have a time getting those back wheels off. Dude. But... Spare tire on. I had to take the uh, bumpers off, the rubber bumpers off from the back so that it would fit because a 10 and a half inch wide tire, I couldn't get it bolted on with those bumpers. But this thing looks like a whole new Jeep. Holy crap. Take those little tires off, put the correct wheels on. 31 by 10 and a half. That looks awesome. Tires now come out flush with the fenders instead of being all tucked in and looking all wimpy. Those wheels look great. Really adds a lot. And this thing just got a lot taller too. You wouldn't think an inch in overall tire diameter would make that big a difference, but this thing got big. I'm sure the wide angle's skewing it a bit too, but trust me, in person, this thing looks like it's ready to hit some trails. I know Shell's going to be excited. 